Hey there, Pisces fam. Hope you are doing well as always. This is Jamie. Welcome to Soulvine Guidance. If we haven't met. So we're just going to check in with your energies, see what's happening for you. We've got the weekend coming on up as well as the full moon energies at the time of this reading. So let's see what we have and what Pisces needs to know. going to get some cards out and we'll connect on in so this is for pisces sun and moon rising connect in and take what resonates what doesn't friends as you know uh, this may not be for you feel welcome to check out your other um, elements of your chart or other readings that connect to or feel called to okay again these are timeless reads and then we'll as i said we'll further clarify <clears throat> Two more, thank you, Spirit. And then let's get into it. Awesome. Okay, and I'm just going to get one for the other person's energy here. Other person's energy. Okay. making sure you can see all those awesome got a bit of glow going down charlie brown there we go all right pisces i'm just connecting into the energy so just bear with me a second feel welcome i'm just going to hit the tibetan bowl to clear the energies on um that's happening here feel welcome to take this as releasing some form of energy within you too so as you hear the sound you can breathe in and then breathe out to release anything that you may be holding on to it's interesting what's coming through um because I was releasing and connecting into the energies here. It's, I am feeling like there's some inner battle going on here. I don't know if this is for you or someone that you're connected to, Pisces, but there's just this little bit of restlessness that I'm feeling. Okay. Um, so kicking off, we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, and the Empress energy. I'm feeling like someone wants to come out the other side of something here. Again, like holding, waiting, there's this restless energy that I'm feeling. Um, Six of Pentacles, the Tower, the Emperor, Ace of Cups, Temperance, King of Cups. So it's interesting how we've got the Tower energy showing up in the center here. And this could be the restlessness. I feel like any direction that perhaps you're going, there is the reality there is going to be significant change. Okay. Is what I'm getting here. And that could be the restlessness. I feel like, again, there's something here like making a choice, a decision, going towards something, waiting for something to arrive. Yeah, there's just, I'm feeling it also in my tummy, guys. You know, like um, for some of you, this could be excitement in the waiting, but for others of you, there's this little bit of anxious feeling. And then when we look at the two other energies, so... The other energy being the other person or significant connection showing up here. They're going through a change themselves right now or through a transformation showing with this death energy. Where for you, you're looking at your, your own stability and growth when it comes to just your life, your finances. And this seems to be a theme right now, Pisces. That is a very solid um, focus, it seems, for you in in building and sustaining a lifestyle that you can you can have and create on your own because i think there has been some unreliance um or question of certain circumstances is what i'm getting um you know whether it's employers career business 
partnerships. Like there's something here where I feel like money has been or is a focus right now um, and building up that, that bank account, the assets, and the, just the sense of freedom that comes with that, that you don't have to worry anymore. So again, that's what, what I'm getting here. Um, there's also this sense too of, I feel like there's something or someone that you do care about here, Pisces. But also in respect of whether this is something that you can give to anymore. Um, you're seeking a form of new beginning, of new excitement, of new heartfelt, you know, deliverance here. But there's also this part like whether or not you can give to it, whether you want to give to it, whether you have the energy to. Because I think you're trying to, like I said, this restlessness that you're feeling it's like you want to focus on your internal world right now because you know your internal world also projects what's happening outside of you, okay? So that's, you know, that's what's coming on in here. And I do feel, I do feel there's two other energies here, Pisces, okay? The Emperor energy, I am getting more as someone here, um... that just may be set in their ways or may not be approachable right now. And you're wanting to know when the time is going to come that you can connect in a more heart, heartfelt way that's a bit more considerate, that's a bit more compassionate, that no matter what's going on, that you know that you're there, they're safe. Okay, is, is what I'm getting here. But, and even amongst this restlessness, Pisces, that I'm feeling underneath, this may be what you're taking on because of someone else in your environment. And you may not see that because there is significant, that these cards and what's showing up here is quite beautiful. It's just what's happening underneath it all. And I think this is a little bit of, you know, the cycle that's happening. There's a lot of goodness happening, a lot of yes energy. And then there's a lot of like, but I've still got this, this needs to iron out. Like there's this little hanging energy sucker <laughs> um, in your life. Okay. And it may not be an actual person. It might be a situation or a place. It's like, you need change. You need change. You want a fresh beginning. You want to feel free because things aren't progressing. Things are doing really, really well here, okay? But underneath, there's just some other form of realization. I'm gonna use a different deck today. I haven't used this baby in a bit. All right, so let's dive in and see, see what else is going down. Share more spirit on the Ace of Pentacles, yeah? I mean, to have the sun show up here with the Ace of Pentacles, you know, there's a gift arriving if it hasn't already. If there's something that you're waiting here for, Pisces, regarding your finances, like I said, a career bump, a client, some form of financial yes that you have been waiting for, the sun is ready to light it up. The sun is ready to heal it. The sun is ready to show you this energy. It's a masculine energy as much as it's beautiful and bright and and showing up, there's this masculine energy, which means to me that confidence required, that belief required, that do what you need to do required energy, because that adds more f flow and passion and fire into it, which then it's like the deliverance, because that's the word that's coming up. Deliverance is coming in. Is deliverance even a word? Um, I'm not a dictionary. Never have been, but in saying that, um, yeah, I'm just not sure. I'm just getting deliverance here. And then you've got the, the sun. So this to me is kind of saying the hardships or the, the, the calling in of transformation, the calling in of this new beginning, the calling in of a new foundation is what is happening here. There is new beginnings. I mean, ace of pentacles, new beginning, sun shining, which mean, means that what needs to come out, what needs to be lit up, what needs to arrive 
is here. There's healing that's happening, okay, to some area of your life, which I feel is around money. And then we've got the, the death of the rebirth. What else do we need to know about the death energy here? Thank you, Spirit. What else do we need to know? Yeah. Yeah, there's new, I feel there's new connections coming on in here. If there has been some aspect of not feeling part of a team, not feeling connected to what you're doing, um, maybe even a person or a place. Again, I'm feeling like a little bit of unbalanced in doing what you love and receiving what you earn. Okay. And I feel like this is coming, coming together. This is balancing out. This is a place that you're entering that feels finally we're making progress. It's like, you're starting to see the, the golden nuggets light your path and you're starting to receive what you, you finally have been wanting, what you've been seeking, where you've been wanting to go, what you've been wanting to do. And you might find too, that you just, there's a new, there's a new crew that you're going to be hanging with. Um, again, might be in the workplace, but this is just, I feel very uplifting energy. So any hardships, Pisces, is really clearing out here, okay? So the Eight of Swords, thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> so we've got the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. So interestingly here, I feel with this page of swords energy and the eight of pentacles, you're coming in from a place where you feel right now you're excited for some, something new that's coming in, but there's little, little bit of questioning, um, of the amount, I'm just getting like the amount of effort now that comes with it. And I don't think you've been physically and mentally, um, what's the word? I don't know if busy is the word or productive or, and when I say never, I mean in, in respect for a while, you haven't had to put this much force into something and force being like your power of an energy. Okay. To this degree, because I think you've been on an emotional journey, Pisces, a spiritual journey and all that hardship, all that feeling, all that something. I'm not saying you haven't worked hard because no doubt that takes a lot of energy and effort, but this is a different level of energy and effort. You know, when you like just put everything in from your insights, your intellect, right? Your, your actual physical energy. This is like a labor of love energy which is a different to a labor of feeling okay energy. So you, I think there's this part of you that's like, this is on your mind because you've got to, it's always like, it's on your mind a lot, or it will be on your mind a lot because you've got a lot to do now, a lot to carry out, a lot of people to, to show up for. It's a different energy and requirement that it takes. And I think you're really going to feel it. And there might be this underlying energy of like, shit, like, can I, can I do this or can I make this happen? And you're feeling a little, um, the word they're giving me is junior. Um, it's like you're in a rebuild phase of of your work, because this is more around putting all the pieces together intellectually to create something that you need to create. So you've got the insights, you've got the talents, you've got all the information that you need, but now you need to put it together and make it happen where it makes sense, where it, where it's standing out, where it's connecting with people. So whatever work that you're doing here, there's a whole nother layer that's coming with this. And I think you're just a little bit potentially in question of, or it's on your mind significantly like, like shit, we're here now. I've got to like ramp this baby up. So I think it's going to take a lot of your time and a lot of effort, but it's a good, it's a labor of love is what I'm getting here. Okay. And then we've got the queen of wands. So you, you know, you got it. This is, this is coming, come up again. I want it. I got it. That's a song, right? Um, and that's what I feel is happening here with this queen's queen of wands showing up. You're going to quickly shift from this page of swords energy or these, this thinking you don't know enough right now to be able to like truly make this incredibly amazing. You do, you got it all. 
it just requires that queen of wands energy and stepping into that which you have pisces within you is plan idea plan and attack or idea plan and implement like go hard bold brave courageous i got it believing in yourself that confidence that comes with it okay so that's what i feel spirit saying if you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling challenged if you're feeling like shit do i have all the information do i have enough there's this little bit, bit of risk that you're taking and it's not faking it till you make it it is believing you're gonna make it believing and knowing that you've got the information within you that, that you can carry out whatever you need to carry out to make this happen, okay? So let's have a look at this Empress energy and what we need to know. <clears throat> this is, I'm feeling excitement amongst it, but it's, it's going to be, it's like, it seems to be really on your mind. It's a whole new level of something, but it's giving you this really fun, fun flowy energy, okay? Share more on this Empress energy. So you've got the King of Wands. Yeah, so this is going to be your your masculine drive, Pisces, of getting shit done, okay? Strong, motivated. So getting stuff done, this is a beautiful balance of Empress energy with the King of Wands, you know? I mean, you've got the Emperor here, but it's funny. I know this Emperor may be your counterpart um, or looking at like divine masculine, divine feminine, but I'm finding this King of Wands very complementary to your Empress energy. And this one in energy for today, for what where we're at and connecting into this seems a bit more colder and a little less approachable. This is like someone who's watching and, and sitting and kind of judging right now, okay, this energy, where this one is more like, motivating exciting like you're feeling feeling that part again i feel this might be a part of you rather than a specific energy in your like surroundings like a person but i'm feeling like this exciting energy coming from this king of wands with this empress energy of you making things happen the king of wands is the one that's very good at taking action, delegating action and making happen what needs to happen. Okay. But they've got, they've got the answers. They've got the talents. They've been there. They've done it. Right. Um, but it's a different, I'm just getting like this fun, exciting spirit that's, that's in it. Okay. Share more on this king of wands energy. Thank you, spirit. You've got the judgment. Let's get one more for the judgment here. I'm getting the word choosing. Yeah, let's show us what, what we're, yeah. Okay. So there could be here, um, Pisces, that's coming on through with the judgment, the three of wands, the king of wands, with the empress energy. I feel like there's movement happening. And the reason I'm saying this is like, Maybe this King of Wands is an energy in your life that has some exciting new endeavor that they're working on or want to work on. And they see you as the perfect person to be a part of this. This could be, yes, a relationship as in a, an intimate, significant relationship or a relationship in regards to work, career, partnerships, where I feel like someone is wanting to... I'm just getting go somewhere with you. So I don't know if you're relocating somewhere or they want to ask to relocate somewhere or they, they're trying to get you on board to this new something, but I'm feeling relocation here. Um, making it, someone's making a decision and you're in contemplation of this. Let's get, I want to get a little bit more. Share more on this three of wands. Mm. So five of pentacles, seven of cups and the moon. So if they're presenting this to you, um, I think for you, something feels a little bit unbalanced or like you don't have enough information to make an informed decision is what I'm getting here. Um, or maybe that's what someone is sharing and communicating with you, but. You know you have to make a decision here. 
And I think you're trying to go, well, I'm just getting like, do, do something about trusting here and, or d don't want to leave something behind. So this is why this might be not an easy decision for you. But at the same time, I think you knew or know this is coming. I don't know if someone else is choosing, making a choice to, to move on and to leave. But there's something here with someone moving or changing, changing direction. But I'm feeling like excitement with it. But then when I see this, there's some fear, okay, that seems to be showing up. Let's just get one more here. Let's get one more here to clarify. What is it that we don't see? What do we need to see? What do we need to see here? Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to see for our Pisces regarding this? What do we need to see? So Ten of Wands and the Four of Coins. So there's question here of stability and, and is there enough in this decision making because I think there's if this has been someone um maybe that you you already know maybe there's some stuff that you've you're aware of or this situation you're aware of some things that just aren't uh, feeling the word I'm getting is like truly safe and safety I think more is in security okay so you're feeling the burden here the weight of this decision, the weight of this choice. Share more on this. See, I'm getting a combination of knowing, but also what, what is it that you don't know? Is there enough is what's coming up here. Is there enough? Is there enough? All right. So let's see where this takes us. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles energy. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Pentacles energy. So I've got the Two of Swords. So again, I'm getting like, is it enough? Is this going to be enough? So I don't know whose energy this is, if this is yours or this King of Wands energy, but I feel the King of Wands is excited for like this new shift and change and beginning. Um, and you, I think you're very, you're feeling comfortable and connected where you are right now. But it's like, again, is it enough? I'm just getting, is it enough? So with the Two of Swords, that's kind of like guarding your heart, right? And tuning in. Tell us more about this Two of Swords energy. Tell us more about this Two of Swords energy. Thank you, Spirit. We've got the Six of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Cups. Interesting, it's got Give, Receive, Family. I've never paid attention to the family side, but that seems to be standing out today. Because I think this opportunity is what you've been potentially seeking or calling in or really wanting as part of your life. But there's this question, is this balanced enough or grounded enough to move this way? And that's what I feel is in question here. Tower energy, please got the empress again what do we need to know about the tower and the empress wow okay so we've got uh, we don't read reversals guys just so you know the energy is um, spirit gives me very clearly the, the information all right um, the empress we've got the Knight of Cups, Page of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Just give me a sec while I connect in, guys. So 
So I think here, something in this connection with this King of Wands, I'm, I'm happy because I feel like the King of Wands, there's been a shift in um, energy and they've elevated their energy. It's like they've won something, achieved something, and now they're saying, hey, Empress, I come with me on this ride, okay? And like, let's, let's do this. So I don't know, again, if there, so there's a change in career, change in opportunity, change in location, home, but I think it's something that you may want here, Pisces, but then there's this question of, is this going to make it okay? Because you're wait. it's like you're waiting for, I don't know if it's you're waiting for an apology. You're waiting for a realization that this connection is something that you've stood strong beside, but now you're, it's kind of like you're in question because it's like they haven't given you the information that you need that gives you this sounding, like, it's like something to do with your heart in the sense of put your heart at ease, put your heart at rest. But I think you, you knew this was coming. And this could be the rebuild. Like you've been calling in, been wanting this rebuild and maybe that's what is coming. Whatever you've been wanting to rebuild. And I'm not saying in a sense of like, you want to rebuild back on solid ground. So for that to happen, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> See, interesting. Like, I don't know why I'm getting it all of a sudden a tickle in my throat. <coughs> so <coughs> I'm just getting like, There's something here that I feel did happen with a particular connection in your life, Pisces, that really did shake things up, okay? And perhaps this is why it's at the center, because it's either a rebuild or, or, or a move on energy. But I'm feeling like someone's coming in with some exciting news to do something with you or wanting to do something with you. I'm really getting that very, very strongly. I'm trying to understand if this is a choice that you're making together or this person has hidden it from you and you're trying to understand like what is happening. So I'm kind of getting in two ways. Like, are you going or you're staying? Let's find out. Are we going or we're staying? Let's find out. <clears throat> Tell us spirit, what's, what's happening here? Are we, are we going? We're staying. Can you give us some clarity here? You're going, you're not staying, you're going. So you're going to take this endeavor. You're going to go on this experience. You're going to the six of voices. Can you, people can, you may consider it moving on. I'm looking at this as moving, moving on in a way of adventure, going to make things balance out, make your, make things right. Make things. It's like the, the Six of Swords to me is, yes, moving on into a new direction. Okay, so you're choosing to move into a new direction. I feel with this person. Let's further clarify. And it's interesting because you've got the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah, it's like this is an exciting uh, new creative endeavor here, a new creative opportunity. Give us one more. Thank you, Spirit. Where are we going here? Where is this going? <clears throat> yeah, you're making plans with the King of Wands. You're making plans with the King of Wands. <clears throat> the Two of Inspiration is making plans together to go into a new direction. I think it's what you've been waiting for, but you're still, it's like you're waiting for an apology or waiting for something for them to say something. Okay. It's like you, you need to hear something to feel this, this is okay, or this is right. But I feel like making plans. I, I For some of it, I have this underlying feeling like you're worried that they're going to make plans without you. 
Let's get some more here on this Emperor energy. What do we need to know about the Emperor energy? We've got the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like this Emperor energy... It's about a new stability, like changing gears is what I'm getting. What else do we need to know here? And the two of wands. Again, I'm getting like making plans. Some news, some information has come through where I feel like it's interesting this emperor energy that I'm getting because I'm getting it a bit cold. Like, it's not proud. It's not, I don't know if they just know or they just, it's like someone is sitting and watching and I don't know who this emperor is. Um, can you share on who this emperor is? I'm getting told use another one. Who's this emperor energy? What's this emperor energy, please? Oh, goodness. But look, it flipped over. So you're showing up here again, the empress energy and the death energy. I mean, this is here twice. So there's some massive transformation going on between you and someone here. A massive transformation but it's like making new plans creating a new chapter together is what i'm getting what else do we need to know here with this two of wands yeah someone's making a courageous change here and trusting in movement forward in the new plans what else do we need to know about this strength here i feel like there's still something we don't know what's it what do we need to know about this strength energy <sighs> take a breath strength yeah it's like investing in this new opportunity this change it's like you need a change someone here needs a change a fresh start a new beginning is what I'm getting. I mean, the yeah. Let's okay. Let's let's jump in on and have a look at this Ace of Cups. Let me know in the comments, guys, if this this relates for you. And please feel welcome to to like that helps support the channel. And please subscribe. I'd love to stay in contact and you know share messages with you as they come through and as you feel connected. All right, guys. Ace of Cups. Thank you just fully knocked the camera sorry guys wow 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 ace of cups the lovers the two of cups the hermit someone has been healing here to reignite this connection significant connection and maybe this king of um, wands that has shown up twice here this is why they're making plans but they had to go on this journey or go on to a healing journey this is not about a choice this is about a new beginning with you This is huge. But I'm also getting, should I stay or should I go? Can, I want to, like, I feel like What's the intention here? Can but spiritual strength. 
There's definitely someone healing here. Tell us what we need to know here. Yeah, I see again, making plans. This is like the two of wands energy, making plans. Someone is focused here on a connection, a new beginning and in prosperity too. So someone's making plans here. But I'm still questioning. I believe it's with you, Pisces. Let's go on. Is this? Are they making plans with Pisces? I mean, I'm seeing it, but there's just this little niggle. Are they making plans with Pisces? The universe, which is the world. Material and spiritual prosperity. Conflict and defeat. Yeah, they need a change because whatever is happening here, where you are, what you're doing, it just, it has, it's been taking over. It's like this seeking this new beginning. Yeah, because it's been hard. It's been heavy and hard on your heart and it just hasn't felt right in a sense of like solid, like, I think, like I said, this, this tower energy, which is showing up in the center and then the firm foundation, it's like this King of Wands has received an opportunity. I feel here Pisces. And I think at first you may question, are they choosing to, to make this choice without you? Okay. Because this person and you seem to have a connection. This could be in love, but this could be also like business. Okay. So take what resonates like an opportunity, family, something significant. This is a, someone that, you know, already, this is not a new person. And you, I think you might initially, they tell you some news and you kind of like, they're super excited, but, uh, are they asking me to come? Are they not asking me to come? Do they want me to be a part of this? And it's like, well, shit. And maybe there's this bit of part of you that's like, oh my God, are they, are they leaving? But then it's kind of like someone is moving here, but I feel like they're, they're hopeful that doing this together is what's going to work. I'm seeing plans being made together with you. They want this with you, this to them or to you, this is like a significant connection in your life, but healing needed to occur. But there's, it seems to be a new beginning here. Let's share more on this temperance energy. What do we need to know here? Wow. Yeah. I mean, we kept getting spiritual strength and spiritual that came up twice. Um, plus you've got the Hermit energy and now we've got the Hierophant. What else do we need to know here about the Hierophant? What do we need to know here about the Hierophant? What do we need to know about the Hierophant? Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm getting like the right amount of something that needs to be entered, given to this dynamic is incredible, like incredibly important right now. It's like you're trying to figure out how to ebb and flow together. This is like both your hearts, right? The two and the two. How do you still stay grounded? How do you both stay grounded emotionally? moving towards the sun to the things that you want in your connection, in your commitment together, in the strength of creating this life together is what I'm getting. What else do we need to know here with this Hierophant and Ten of Pentacles? Yeah. I feel this is part of the healing and the, the temperance is that there's been a lot of um, heated discussion around people's emotions, people's feelings, people's egos. Like there's been a lot here and there's for a reason. There's been a lot of emotions flying around. What else? Thank you. And it's not what you guys want anymore. You don't want this conflict. You want the balance. You, you need, 
to leave behind the, the shit that hasn't been working. Okay. And that's why things are changing. This is why the new beginnings required. This is why the shift in where you're going is required. Because what is been happening hasn't been supportive. And that's the balance and flow of temperance required to enter this connection. And I think that's where you might see this shift occur. Share more on this King of Cups energy. What do we need to know this King of Cups? Yeah. They've been experiencing a lot, this King of Wands. So that's like, I think there might be some surprise here. Share more on this Ten of Wands energy. What do we need to know with this Ten of Wands energy? Yeah. So you've got water energy and the King of Swords showing up. So there might be someone here that has water elements and air elements in their chart. So... Someone has been taking on a lot here in regards to this. This could be your energy, Pisces, this King of Cups, okay? But someone here has definitely been taking on a load emotionally. Like I'm just, I'm getting a little bit like, couldn't take, take it on anymore. And there was recognizing it's recognizing what needed to be cut out. So this is a good thing. Okay. What else do we need to know here? Yeah. It's like, again, this, this progress forward. It's like to, to make the change, to create this new beginning, to create this new life together. It's both recognizing here, the things that are important and not getting too carried away in emotions that are, or making long-term decisions in emotions that aren't balanced, that aren't healthy, where, and you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I think it's kind of like therapy 101 is how do you get your emotions in check before making decisions or before responding and that's sometimes can be a very hard thing so there has been a lot of shaken ground and that could be the restlessness that's happened here is because you know a change is coming something is happening here you're working towards something maybe this person that you know is working towards something but it's like well how do we get how do we if we're both working towards our own thing how do we bring this together um but it, it's coming together the reason for the shakeup is you had to learn significant lessons here on how to better support each other's needs, goals, dreams. But there was, there's something bigger happening here. It seems a relocation, a change in career, change in job, change in energy. Like th this is feeling good. This is feeling good. And it's like making a decision to, to focus on the divine things that have meaning and importance to both of you in pursuit of this. So, but things have to be cut out. Burdens had to be gone. Certain things had to be gone from the, the heaviness of this for it to, to pan out. Okay. Well, that's what it's showing anyway. So let's have a look at your energy here. What do we need to know with this queen of pentacles? Okay, so, wow, you've got a lot going on here, Pisces. Yeah, see, we have this exactly here. Ten of Pentacles with the Temperance. Ten of Pentacles with the Temperance. Confirmation of balancing out and things getting into a happy place because it has been a lot of feeling. It has been hurtful. So you guys have been trying to figure out how to bring the light back in because... A, you know, and we've got the five of pentacles here. That's why this, this new beginning is what's needed because where you guys were or where you've been has been hard. It has been felt, it has felt like unstable. Like I think everyone's feeling like no one matters here, but something has shifted. And again, too, maybe because you guys have been focused more on your career and your path and your journey and doing new work, it's given space to, to do to allow things to unfold naturally rather than trying to make things unfold. But it seems like you're getting into this strong space of your own stability, which I think has been an important part of this journey and experience to get you where you need to go. And your King of Wands as well, same thing. 
there's like something had to happen here for this breakthrough. Okay. But I see there's a lot of darkness, but to get to the sunlight, you have to have experienced the hard times, the hardship, but there is light at the end of the tunnel here. Okay, Pisces, there's light at the end of the tunnel and that's what it's showing. So let's learn more about this other energy. This, I mean, I feel this is a king of wands, but let's have a look at what this death energy wants to share about this dynamic. Thank you, spirit. We need to know about this other energy. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. High Priestess, Ace of Voices, Ten of Emotions. Yeah, you had to, it's like the old ways had to end. The old ways had to end. It's like this King of Wands is just having this huge awakening. I feel like they've shifted in a lot in energy. It's like a fret, it's like a new, like a new person. <laughs> um, I don't think it's a new person. I think they've got, it's like there, something's happened that there's just this new person that's come out of them. So I don't know if they've been stuck in a lot of the darkness energy. Um, but it's like they've had their own transformation, but you've been waiting for it. In addition to that, it's like now they know what to do. It's like now they, they've got the information, the insight for this new beginning to happen. And this is what they want more than anything in connection, in harmony, in balance with their family. What else do we need to know here with this 10 of emotions? And when I say family, I mean, that can mean a lot of things. Family is different for everyone, right? But as in who makes up your family. What else do we need to know here? What else do they have to share with Pisces? What do they want to share with Pisces? Okay. Sorry guys, I told me to use the other deck. What do they want to share with Pisces? Thank you, spirit. What do they want to share with Pisces? The time spent, the time spent in, it's interesting because I feel like at some point Pisces here that you, I'm getting a little sad and a little teary here because I think you felt at some point here that you weren't chosen or It's like you were watching on to see how valuable this connection was to this person. And I feel in your own way, like this was a long time, like you've been waiting for this. I'm just feeling sad because there's this overwhelming sense of joy because of the hardship that's come with this for you. But they choose you. And, you know, maybe for some of you, this is not your story and you don't want to choose that person, but this has been a long time coming, but they needed the space and time to, and look, I mean, the two of cups, that's in space, right? <laughs> and not, I just, it's just what came through and it's interesting that it is the space. It's like space that was needed for someone to have their own realization that the Empress, the new beginning with you and this, this is what matters, but they know that they needed to change and transform or create a new beginning and solid foundation to make this happen. That's what I've got for you, Pisces. So this is looking beautiful loves. I'll catch you later. Bye now.